Dear fellows, hope you're doing well. So today we wanted to talk a little bit about uh, writing research proposals. So you might be uh, an undergraduate student, uh, postgraduate, doctorate, or postdoctorate scholar. Or you might be working in medicine, uh, law, history, finance, engineering, social sciences, or any other field. So mostly we are looking to write an effective research proposal that could help us in getting an admission. Maybe we are looking for a research area or we are going to submit an application for admission in some university. So we come across this problem of writing effective research proposal. I know we can talk in our, on, on this topic for hours and hours, but, but uh, in this brief video, I wanted to give you uh, very few tips uh, that can be very useful in, in writing those research proposals effectively. So let's start. So when we are uh, looking to write a research proposal or when we're just doing a research, we read a lot of research papers uh, and that's understandable. We, we should do it. Uh, and also we read a lot of review papers. So that's also a very good uh, piece of information and knowledge. But what we normally don't read is uh, actually the thesis. And by thesis, I mean the PhD thesis. So whenever you come across uh, any research topic, uh, and I'm asking to write, read a PhD thesis, and you must be thinking that it's going to be a very big book, something like this. So, 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 so you're reading this big book, and, and you are saying that, uh, this is a very big book and how I'm going to read it. Uh, that's very understandable. So in this part of the video, I will be telling you uh, what parts of the thesis, what part of the thesis we are actually going to read. We are not going to read the entire thesis. I mean, you can read if you, if you, if you, if you love it, but if you just want to get an idea what parts of the PAD thesis you should read. And second part of the video where we will be discussing how we are going to get thesis like this for free. Yes, for free. So uh, I will be telling you that. And that, uh, that website is, is, is uh, legally uh, fine. Uh, you can download thesis with just one click. You can print them off uh, free of cost. Uh, so let's say you have downloaded the thesis, uh, the place I'm going to tell you in the next part of the video like what website you, you can use, I'm, I'm telling you later on. So let's say you've downloaded a thesis and what parts actually we need to focus. Uh, so, so let me show you uh, uh, a quick view of the thesis that you may uh, 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 like to read. Uh, so yeah, so I'm just sharing my screen. So the first part uh, of the thesis you should read is the abstract. So the abstract is actually, uh, 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 a summary of the thesis and, and, and mostly it is uh, one page. As you can see, uh, I'm just showing you a sample thesis. So this is one page and, and, and this is written in very, in very plain language. You can easily understand it. So one page, you read it, you get the summary of the thesis. And after that, you, you jump on to the introduction. So introduction part is actually uh, uh, one page normally. So as you can see, so this is around uh, one to two page, and this is just the introduction. And in, and in, in the introduction, what you're getting is uh, the background of the thesis. Uh, so having read the introduction part, uh, the next part we need to jump on uh, is quickly onto the methodology part. I mean, this could be, uh, methodology could be uh, your experimental uh, work. It could be numerical work. It could be surveys. It could be uh, questionnaires or, or any, any other form of data collection. Uh, so whatever sort of methodology you, you, you plan to use or this thesis has used. So this will be giving you a quick overview of what methodology has been used because methodology depends on the research area and whatever you're working on. So just, just have a quick view of that. Don't no need to go into detail, just have a quick view uh, so that you can understand the context and once you have done that, you quickly jump on to the uh, conclusion part. So, 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 
okay so so as you can see this is this last chapter of that so this gives a summary of what has been done uh of of the topic and then this one and this one uh, so this is uh, conclusion part sometimes it is three pages sometimes maybe four or five pages but nothing more than that and this is the most important part of the thesis we are looking at is the recommendation for further research now this person has worked on this thesis for maybe three years four years five years six years and then after this whole heavy work on on, on this research area he is coming he or she is coming with these recommendations and these are very important actually these are very important so you carefully read that and this is going to be the way forward okay so let me reiterate once you've read these four parts you get clear idea what this is this research area is all about and what is the way forward now once you've got the way forward you can easily write the research proposal because the research proposal is futuristic what actually you want to do hence reading the conclusions and the future work actually lay the foundation of your research proposal now you might be an uh, undergrad student doing on, on working on your final year project or uh, or a final year uh, thesis or fyp or you might be a master student looking to uh, looking to get into any research area or might be a phd student try to dig into a specific field so this this sort of uh, overview of reading few research thesis can actually help you in 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 getting state of the art research and also getting uh, the idea where the research should lead to so this is a very good beginning uh, uh, from the researcher's point of view now i'm going to tell you a website uh, that website gives the thesis uh, free of cost uh, and that's legal so that website is ethos uh, .bl.uk so uh, i spell it for you e t h o s .bl.uk so it's a british library uh, services uh, for scholars all over the world that they can just log in and 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 download the thesis of your research area so in this part of the video i'm going to show you how you need to create an account and and download thesis of your own research area so i will do some research um, uh, live as, as, as you can see you, you can see on the screen as well once i do it so that you can have clear idea how you're going to make an account it's very simple and and download thesis whatever you like so let's start so in this part of the video i will be uh, showing you uh, the website the website name is ethos e t h o s dot b l dot u k and in this uh, 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 as you can see on the screen uh, right now uh, ethos dot b l dot u k so you you uh, click on login and register and uh, and here you you register and you give all your details after accepting terms and conditions so you can give your email address passwords titles and everything you can fill in these details and 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 this will uh, and then click on the register once you have registered uh, you, uh, you can you can log in with your details so uh, so you can log in your details. Uh, let me just show you the screen. Uh, yeah. So you can log in your details, and and you will be logging in. So go to the new search. So uh, let's write solar energy. Uh, I mean, you can write or any any of the keywords you can think and 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 here in in the list you can you can see. Uh, uh, there are uh, like title of thesis, the university, and the year of publication. Now there are a few theses that might not be available because these are too old, and and they need to be digitized in the, like uh, like scanned in the form of PDF. So they they might not be available. So there is sort of unlock sign in front of every thesis. So so you can click on that. So this is a very old thesis, 1995, and this is. Uh, uh, sort of unlock uh, so so 
so we can uh, so all the unlocked thesis are available for download others uh, we have to pay so if you just want to you just want a free copy so you can see you can accept the terms and conditions you can click on this one and you click download shows 12 mb and this will be downloading uh, onto your screen so so we just in the meantime we we can search something else so let's go to let's search on covid if if we might get some something on it no we are not getting anything on covid let's let's uh, write lean uh, manufacturing and let's see if we get something in that so in the lean manufacturing total 146 records are available and uh, i mean you can see this is the most recent one so uh, let's click on to that and you can click on download agree to terms and conditions 22 mb and this gets down in the meantime other file is getting downloaded and and so this is very easy uh, so so this is the website and and uh, this is uh, everything uh, you need to know about ethos from british library so so uh, yeah that's to the end of this uh, small video uh, i hope you enjoyed it uh, please share it among your colleagues uh, if you are a student share it among fellow students so that they can uh, actually learn from this uh, very good tool uh, that we are normally not aware of uh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also uh, let me know in your comments what topics exactly you want me to uh, speak about in the next lectures so uh, i will be discussing that as well thank you and stay safe